Hi guys, right now at home. Usually I'd be at an airport lounge, in an airplane, or even in an airplane graveyard. I know a lot of schools around the world are closed, so this video is dedicated to children like me and adults to help them understand more about aviation. If you want to look at videos just like this, don't forget to look at my 737 MAX 8 video on why they crashed. Okay, today I'm going to try and answer a question I get a lot. How do planes fly? Before I get into this, I'm going to show you some of the awesome stuff I have back here. So here I have my Emirates 777-300ER, and it's a really awesome plane. I love flying with Emirates, and I have awesome in-fly entertainment. So I'm going to put this back here on the stand, because I'm going to show you guys um, something with this later. These two golden airplanes here, um, they're both from the same store, and they look really cool with the gold on them. Um, this one, to me, looks like a propeller airplane. And here we have a plane that looks like the Concorde, which is one of my favourite airplanes. Over here I have a illustration of me from an artist when I went to Taiwan. It's really cool. I love the background, which has Taipei 101 in it, and also a plane behind me, which is really awesome. Here I have another really awesome plane I love, a China Airlines A350. And I really love this aircraft. It's such a cool aircraft to fly on. I actually flew with China Airlines when I was coming to Taiwan. And I flew with their 747. This is an ANSET Airlines 747. Now they're retired, but it's really cool to look at this aircraft. So a really cool thing about that China Airlines 747 fly I had. So I sat in the very front of the airplane, right there, in front of the pilots, at the top. There are only two seats up here and this is one of the only airplanes in the world that has this feature. So it was really awesome for me to fly on it. Around here I have a Concorde. As I said before, it's one of my favourite airplanes. It's a British Airways Concorde and on here it has the, um, the information about it. So it's registration was GBOAB. Alpha Bravo and its first flight was on the 18th of May 1976 and its last flight was on the 15th of August 2000 when British Airways retired them at Heathrow Airport. Um, so you might have noticed that all my airplane models except this one are die cast. This is a plastic model but I love that it's a 787, a Boeing 787 and I really love the curved wings on this airplane. Okay, finally, I have one of my favourite planes in my whole collection, a Saudi Arabian 747 SP. If you don't know what the 747 SP is, it's a 747 that has special features, including a very, very cool one. It is incredibly short. It's even it's only one meter longer than the 787-8. So as you can see, it has an awesome tail livery, and that's one of my favourite things about this airplane. There aren't many 747 SPs left in the world today, and there are no 747 SPs anymore flying with airlines. Now I'm going to get back to my video. To answer how do planes fly, we have to start with science. What does science have to do with flight? Good question. There was once an English man called Isaac Newton. He did lots of stuff, was a famous and very clever scientist, and did something which was really important, which was develop a law. Several actually. But right now we're interested in this first law, which we call today Newton's Law. Anyway, basically his idea was expressed like this. An object at rest, like this, stays at rest. Just like an object in motion, stays in motion. Put another way, every object, like this stapler, will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled to change its state 
by the action of external force. That stapler was just compelled by the force of my hand. I provide the stapler with thrust, but it didn't sustain flight. Why? So, how does it happen? I mean, how do planes fly? For planes to fly, fly, four things must be present. Thrust, lift, weight, and drag, which I will now show you. That is thrust, then we have lift, drag, and gravity. Thrust gets a plane moving forward. An engine, like the one on this 777, or a propeller, like on this aircraft. Lift is obtained because the wings are designed to maximise the flow of air over them. In other words, they are designed to push the air molecules down. As a plane starts to move down the runway, using its thrust for takeoff, air passes over its wings. The top of a wing is curved, and the bottom is smooth. The faster the plane goes, the more it increases the flow of air over each wing. The air over the top of the curved wing travels faster. This creates low pressure. The air under the bottom part of the wings, which is smooth, travels slower. This creates high pressure. The combination of low pressure above and high pressure below creates lift under both wings and forces the plane to rise or fall. The force of lift becomes greater than the force of gravity and the plane soars into the sky. Getting a plane up is just the start. Once the plane is in the sky, it has to stay up. Planes achieve this by making sure the design of the plane itself pushes more air under it than the air pushing down the streamlined upper body. Drag is a force that slows a plane down. The resistance from drags helps stabilise an aircraft in flight. When combined with the forces of thrust, lift and weight, a plane will fly, though the drag cannot be more than the lift. Lift and weight work together to move a plane up or down. Thrust and drag work to speed and slow a plane down. Lastly, and not least, every plane needs a pilot. These days, the pilot doesn't have to be a person, it could be a machine. Whether a person or a machine, the pilot, gives commands to a plane's computers and other controls, and they respond, all combined, that's how planes fly. If you'd like to see me make any other videos and answer any other aviation questions, please post your thoughts in the comments and I'll do my best. Also, let me know what you like and what you think I can do better. I always enjoy getting feedback, no matter what it is. For now, clear skies and tailwinds.